since the beginning. This is the, a small look at something so huge uh, for them in the future. This is just the beginning of things to come uh, for someone like Selena Gomez. And I mean, she'll find love again at some point down in her life, down the road. Uh, she will find love again. It's just so many people hate her for how she broke up with Justin or Justin broke up with her. I'm not really sure how that went. Uh, but I know that the story has definitely been overkilled on social media. Everybody posting rumors and their thoughts on Selena and Justin, how they believe they should get back together, how they believe they should go their separate ways. Have Justin had a new girlfriend within weeks? Selena Gomez was spotted with people like Charlie Puth. But again, you know, these are just speculation and rumors uh, that we're hearing all the time. But it's really nice to hear how Selena Gomez has been celebrating her 24th birthday recently. Again, I haven't seen the photos nor the videos, but I will be checking that out. I would imagine that it's been posted all over Selena's Facebook page for Twitter. Obviously has been blowing up, and I know that millions of people have been wishing her a very happy and very prosperous 24th birthday, and I will go along uh, with so many of them and wish Selena Gomez the same thing, because I really have believed uh, in Selena for so many years. I have refused to give up on Selena Gomez, and who can blame me uh, for refusing to give up on Selena Gomez, no matter how much negativity I would read online or how many negative videos I would watch on YouTube and how many negative music videos she would post in the way of provocative music videos that some people went out of their way to describe it for being. I, I always gave Selena Gomez the benefit of the doubt and the thing about me was I always came up with a way to defend uh, Selena Gomez and that is something that I think a lot of people haven't given me enough credit for because no matter what the situation and or circumstance was in pretension to Selena Gomez I always found a way or some reason to defend uh, Selena Gomez, and even though I may not have gotten away with it more times than I probably would like to say that I got away with it, the thing was, even though with how many times I didn't get away with it, there were so many times that I got away uh, with defending Selena Gomez when she was having death threats posted by uh, fans of Justin Bieber saying they would kill her. I defended her then. Uh, when they broke up and called the quits, went to Splitsville, I defended her then, and I'm still... Uh, defending her long after her battle with lupus was came out in the open with by her and how she became an executive producer for shows focusing on suicide. Uh, the thing is, Selena Gomez had everything going on and she deserved to be defended and that's why I didn't turn on her or turn my back on Selena Gomez. And I can honestly say with 100% confidence, even though I turned my back on Miley Cyrus years ago after I thought she... I was filled with a lot of promise. It will never happen for me when it comes to Selena Gomez, no matter how outrageous or how out of control she may be uh, years from now. Who knows what kind of predicament she will be in by the time she is 30 through 35 years of age. That remains to be seen, but that is a long way away uh, from happening about 6 through 10 years before we get to that point uh, for Selena Gomez. But I think even then, I would imagine I will defend her because I think Selena Gomez has a lot going on for her. I also remember when provocative photos of her with fangs when she had the vampiric kind of look for a photo shoot for a magazine years ago. I forget what magazine it was for. I know she received a lot of comments about how she was being very racy, very out of control, very provocative, and even then, uh, I remember defending her. I remember that being profiled uh, by daytime talk shows like The Talk, and I, I remember uh, how I thought that these daytime talk shows were so full of shit and defension of Selena Gomez, and the thing was, they really were. Uh, so full of shit. She was trying something different, and you kind of had to give her the benefit of the doubt. You know, a lot of people looked at her in Spring Breakers as turning a, a corner uh, in her life, and they thought that she was going to be very out of control for a lot of the movies that she was going to be producing and being involved with, being an actress for. Uh, but even though Spring Breakers received a lot of critical reviews, Hotel Transylvania is one and two. Uh, received amazing reviews. The work between herself and Adam Sandler was definitely off the charts, and in other movies and other shows for series like Netflix. Uh, were amazing, and I think that everything for Selena Gomez has just fallen into place, especially with uh, the album Revival receiving the numbers and the reviews that it has been getting. It definitely speaks for itself, and the millions of fans she has subscribed to our conversation on social media even more so, obviously doubling if not tripling uh, with her 24th birthday. Of course, we are in the follow of that, and just so much going on for her. It is amazing, and you can pretty much uh, determine for yourself why. I am the biggest Selena Gomez fan. Do I have to provide you with so much evidence to prove to you that I'm the biggest Selena Gomez fan in the world? Uh, I've also seen a lot of very interesting videos of fans, uh, you know, doing these covers of Selena Gomez songs over the years. And I think that these covers that fans are posting are just so amazing, so incredible, because obviously that shows how much of an inspiration Selena Gomez has been to your lives. And I also have seen a lot of videos creatively posted by Selena Gomez herself. Photos of herself, of course, with uh, Taylor Swift uh, making cookies and videos of her doing carpool karaoke. 
Uh, that was pretty interesting, hearing her do carpool karaoke, singing some things that we've never heard uh, Selena even attempt to sing before. I caught that video like I did the videos of Adele uh, months ago. They were amazing. And I also appreciate the support that Selena Gomez has been getting from her celebrity fan friends. As I mentioned, you know, the uh, photos and videos of herself and Taylor Swift attempting to make cookies. And I think Taylor Swift actually made the cookies for uh, Selena Gomez, so I thought that was pretty cool. And now with her Canadian tour dates expected to pick up for the fall, I think a lot of promising things are in store for us as fans of Selena Gomez and Selena Gomez herself. I've said it many times before in the past, I think I can get away. I was saying at least one more time, Selena Gomez has yet to witness the best years of her career by both herself and her fans, and I think that if you're not a Selena Gomez fan, you should be. You should be a Selena Gomez fan even more so than if you had been in your lifetime over the years, from 10 years ago, you may not have been the biggest uh, Selena Gomez fan or supporter in the world that you could have heard on YouTube or posting videos, uh, whatever uh, you were doing on the internet. The thing is, if you weren't a Selena Gomez fan in your past, you should be more of a Selena Gomez fan than what you ever were in your lifetime because of how much she's got going on. She's got her Netflix series, 13 Reasons Why, uh, which is pretty amazing, which, by the way, focuses on the suicide of a girl leaving behind pre-recorded cassette tapes, CDs, whatever, explaining the reason for her suicide to raise awareness uh, for how serious of an issue suicide is because my dad committed suicide over two years ago in 2014 in February of that year. Uh, that series really touched a nerve with me and really got me thinking about how precious uh, life really is and all the moments that we are caught up within. Uh, that series is amazing. The numbers for revival on iTunes, incredible millions of downloads for the individual singles alone let alone the album, and just everything she's got going on as a producer, a singer, an actress, so much. Very busy young lady, and very deserving of a happy 24th birthday wish coming out on the behalf of my radio show and myself, Jonathan Clark, one of the biggest Selena Gomez fans in the world. You can get in on the conversation about Selena Gomez's 24th birthday. Really appreciate how so many radio shows and stations have been honoring Selena Gomez by playing her music. We just played Same Old Love for you at the start of the show, and I will get probably another Selena Gomez song in there before the end of the show and we go off air. Thank you guys so much for joining me for this week, celebrating the 24th birthday of Selena Gomez. I'm your host, Jonathan Clark. Happy birthday, Selena, one more time for you, and I will talk to you again next week. Like what you hear? Tell us on Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube. <laughs> Barbed wire fence carving on a hillside Cutting holes in the midday sun Like a postcard framed in a windshield Covered in dust I love the rhythm of an old gray black time 33's just whistling by Steer the wheel one-handed on a two-lane Hugging that line I got the windows down No one else around singing Summertime hay fields just been cut I got the windows down Way out of town Singing Freedom is the miles I'm rolling on Out here cruising to a back road song I feel the wheels like a melody Like a radio dialing in strong Come on, come on, sing along, sing along Get better, girl. What I'm thinking is I can pick you up, you slide in this truck, and I can hear you singing. Ooh, 
Let me hear you sing it. This is my bad clothes song This is my bad clothes song Come on, come on, sing Something takes place in the world of professional wrestling. You know where to go. WrestleZone.com. WrestleZone.com. Covering all the latest breaking news daily. Interactive forums where you can chat with thousands of other wrestling fans. Exclusive editorials and audio features by some of today's top wrestling superstars. Exclusive video content. Weekly polls. Live play-by-play -play coverage of every WWE and TNA pay-per-view. And now, and now, featuring WrestleZone Radio, live, live, with news, in-depth discussions, debates, and interviews with wrestling's top stars, past, past, and present, present. When you think wrestling, think WrestleZone. WrestleZone.com. He considers himself God's gift to wrestling, and millions of his faithful agree. With nearly four hours of footage and exclusive commentary and